This is a topic I've wanted to talk about for a while. June 5th, 2020. Um, I was dropped by... Not Nintendo, by Golan. But let's, let's say Nintendo for now. And we'll talk about that. It's been two years. Almost two years since that happened. And... It, it created a weird divide in my viewer base. It's really, really weird. And a lot of people seem to think that I hate Nintendo now. I get that comment a lot. Actually, what I get more than anything is just you're salty with Nintendo. It, like, I can't have an opinion on anything Nintendo. I, like, even a slightly negative or even mid take on anything Nintendo now without comments flooding in about me being salty about Nintendo dropping me as a brand ambassador. And that's why I have this big grudge against Nintendo so I can't enjoy anything that they do anymore. Or I'm like hypercritical on them. And I don't know, I, you know, I always wanted to do this video, but back then when that happened, I made three videos. The initial one talking about what happened, then the follow-up video to the reaction to it. And then there was even a third video. And I wanted to do a fourth video talking about a lot of the comments I was seeing in regards to this. But I'm like, no, that would be milking it. I'll just I'll let it die out. And it's never died out. This is something that has followed me for the last two years. And I, I really, really want to clarify whether or not I hate Nintendo or whether or not there is a grudge there. Because I, I can't keep doing this, man. I can't keep having opinions on Nintendo stuff and 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 being slaughtered in the comments. And if, for those thinking like, oh, you're over-exaggerating it, I literally, you can search comments on YouTube. And I went into my, my creator tab and typed in search for salty Nintendo. That's just the two keywords I put in because I get it so much. And look, eight days ago, literally, yeah, what's well, just salty at anything Nintendo. This with the Nintendo Direct video has convinced me of that. This, by the way, on the video about Nintendo fake commercials, which had nothing to do with Nintendo as a company or Nintendo as a gaming platform or anything like that. It was just about the Nintendo commercials. And people had such a weird connotation going into that, that, oh, was just making this video. And that's, that's, that, that's why this bothers me so much is it's validating my point. It's invalidating my feelings or my opinions when I have an opinion on something or I want to talk about something and people are just like, oh, he's just salty because of Nintendo. And it just completely invalidates whatever I'm talking about. Like, it's just like, no, I no, I have an opinion on this that maybe you don't like or agree with and you're passing it off as I'm salty about something. And it, it keeps going. I mean, ever since this dude got dropped by Nintendo, he's been salty, it feels like. While he had a sponsorship, he never said the slightest bad thing about Nintendo. Let it go, my man. This was 10 days ago. It's been two years. This comment was 10 days ago. And by the way, another reason I want to make this video so misinformed. Nintendo never sponsored me. They never paid me a single dollar at any point. Never. In fact, at one point, they reached out to incorporate me, this was early on, in their little monetization sharing program where they were like, well, you can keep making Nintendo videos if you let us take a cut. Like at one point, Nintendo were actually trying to take money from me. And I said no to that and just kept making videos about Nintendo anyway. And eventually, when it got to like Switch era, they dropped that whole program, which was a whole program that creators actually signed up for for some reason yes nintendo take my money so i can talk about your games it made no sense but no they never paid me and i love like he never when he was when he was sponsored i wasn't but let's let's pretend i was when i was working with them and sponsored he never said the slightest bad thing that's the biggest oh my god that does my head in never said a bad thing literally like one of the biggest points of contention with me online with Nintendo fans is how much I drug Xenoblade 2 through the mud. And I did. And I apologized for that countless times. I've made it a meme and a joke. So like with Xenoblade 3 being revealed, I made a whole like meme where I was like disappointed. 
I'm not disappointed. I couldn't care less. It's just not a, not a kind of game for me. But it's become this whole thing with me that I hate Xenoblade 2, right? Because I had this big negative review of a, of a first party exclusive Nintendo game. Let's look when that game came out. 2017! Almost three years before I was even dropped. And again, playing into this would never had the slightest bad thing to say. Nintendo greedy decline. Let's just Google those words and my video will come up with almost a million views. This was before I was dropped. September 30th in 2019, I made a 26 minute video about Nintendo's greed with microtransactions in the online market. And I'm sure I could sit here and find more videos about me talking about the bad parts of Nintendo as much as the good. And I think that is why I was so successful on the platform talking about Nintendo is because I've always had a very unbiased take about Nintendo. When I feel like Nintendo is doing something I disagree with or that we should disagree with, I talk about that. I mean, even before I was dropped, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'm pretty sure that was before, right? 2019! Pokemon Sword and Shield really dropped the Pokeball. I made a 16 minute video about how bad Pokemon was, like Nintendo's number one selling franchise and game on their console. I ragged on the game for 16 minutes. Like never had a slight bad thing to say. Like where did this misconception come from that when I was working with Nintendo, I was a goody little two shoes Nintendo guy that never had a bad thing to say. Ooh, ooh. And then as soon as I was dropped, it was, I hate everything, Nintendo. I hate it all. I literally, on the flip side of that, I literally just made a 30 minute video about Pokemon Arceus and how addicted I am to the game where I made a song in the middle of it talking about how much I love that game and adore that game because it was the Pokemon game of my dreams. And this was just a couple weeks ago that I made that video. And I think you, if you looked through my videos from the start of me making Nintendo content to now, 90% of my videos are in Nintendo's favor of how much I love Nintendo, how much I love playing games on my Switch, how the Switch is my favorite console of all time. But you can find that 10% from before and after Nintendo dropped me of me talking about bad things and nothing has changed. And I, tr I said that in the video, I was like, nothing has changed. But let me tell you this. Let me get this straight right now. Just to clear the air here. I tried to clarify this in the initial videos, but let me clarify it one more time. If you go back and watch those videos, I say it countless times, but let me say it again. If you don't know how that situation and how the brand ambassador worked with Nintendo, it was not through Nintendo. Nintendo hired a company called Golin. Golin, G-O-L-I-N that ran their ambassador program. It was all done through the third party that is Golan, uh, which to be clear, um, Golan is hired by Nintendo to run the Nintendo uh, ambassador program. Nintendo doesn't care. They had nothing to do with it. Nintendo was busy making Zelda and Mario and the new Switch and doing Nintendo things. Miyamoto isn't at his desk worrying about what I'm creating for YouTube couldn't care less but they created this program through golan and and they just said you do it you handle all the public relations and get the product into people's hands and you control all of that and it was golan that decided to drop me it was golan that decided to get rid of me off the program because golan felt like i wasn't a good fit for nintendo anymore but that doesn't change how i feel about nintendo or their games it just changes how I feel about Golan and how they handled the situation. Nintendo had literally nothing to do with it. And I grew up with Nintendo. I grew up with an NES in my house. I've told the story a million times. Nintendo has always been my favorite console for video games. I've had every single Nintendo console since the NES. I have not had every single Xbox or every single PlayStation. I have them now and I love them and cherish them now. And since about the 360 era, I've had every console I can get my hand on. But back in the day, what I grew up with, it was Nintendo. That's my memories. That's what I cherish. That's what I love. That's what I'll always love. I love Miyamoto. I love Reggie. And I love what he did in his time with the company. I love the history of Nintendo. And I just love Nintendo. I love Zelda. I love Pokemon. Like that's where my heart is. 
as an adult, as a kid, as an old man. That's what it's always going to be. I'm not going to stop talking about Nintendo out of spite. Um, I love them with all of my heart. I, I love the Switch. Nintendo and me is synonymous and it has been ever since my channel has existed on the platform. But to push it even further, if you still don't believe that I have no salt against Nintendo, the company, let me talk about something else that I've come to terms with over the last two years. I think Olin did the right thing. I think they handled the situation poorly. I think the way that they ghosted me after was bad. I think the way that they tried to drop me from the program, but still send me games and want me to talk about stuff, you know, and, and still tell people I'm getting the games for free, but they just don't want me officially on the program. I think all of that was a little weird. Like, just drop me if you're going to drop me. And then when I ask why, just be honest with me. But the one reply I did get from them that rang through my head for weeks and months and years years a year because i've come to terms with it over the last year but the term the thing that really just bounced around my head and i lost sleep over was when they said we need someone that's passionate about nintendo that that at the time that cut me like a knife and that's where most of the salt came from honestly like that's where a lot of the salt came from and i've mentioned that in videos snarky here or there where i'm like yes i'm not passionate about nintendo like i brought that up a few times because it really did bother me at the time but think about what i said when i sat down and make this video i broke down my videos about nintendo's greed and how xenoblade 2 a game that 600 almost 700 000 views almost half the sales that game got my review is just crapping on it you know like how many how many people did i turn away from trying that game and and taking sales out of nintendo's hand and monolith studios hand with that one review you know and like the i would say worse than anything i go to that greed video you might be able to find ones that are even worse than that honestly but like i'm literally like calling out nintendo i'm supposed to be a brand ambassador at the time and I'm sat there calling out the brand I'm supposed to be ambassading an ambassador of for their greed. What was I thinking? And like, that's the thing. I, I mean, I wasn't really because I've just always said what's in my heart. I've always talked about what I wanted to talk about. And for the most part, I was a, I was an ambassador for, for a few years there, several maybe. And I always did stuff like that. So it never really, you know, I gave negative reviews, positive reviews. You know, I didn't shy. I mean, in my mind, I'm not getting told to say anything. I'm not being paid to say anything. So I'm going to say what I want to say. And looking back on it, I think them saying that I, I wasn't passionate. I think that was them being honest. I think that was Golan's way of saying what they probably couldn't say, but were hoping that I would read enough into it to realize what they meant. I honestly think that when they replied saying it's, we need, we need, they didn't say I wasn't passionate. They said, we, we look for, or we need creators that are passionate about Nintendo. And I think that was, whoever was writing that was probably thinking, would please read between the lines here. We still want to work with you. We still want to send you games and stuff, but we can't have you as an ambassador when you're making videos like this. Oh, and the mod one was another thing that I did. You know, I did the Breath of the Wild mod video. And they were like, Wood, you can't, we can't, we want to work with you, but you can't be an ambassador if you're going to do stuff like this. We need people that are passionate. In other words, people that are just spokesperson for Nintendo. I mean, goody two shoes that are going to, you know, say the best things possible and never say a bad thing. And that's, you know, if you're an ambassador for that company, that's what you should be doing. And I wasn't. And I've taken time and I've looked at that and I've realized I was not a good ambassador. And you know what? I didn't need to be an ambassador. I'm just a guy who loves Nintendo and I always have done. And being not an ambassador has freed me up even more so to not worry about anything. I mean, the Nintendo said, you know, don't stream Nintendo sports. If I was an ambassador, that would be pushing the line. I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to, you know, Nintendo have said, obviously I can't do that. But Bob asked me, like, do you want to stream it with me? Do you want to risk getting banned on Twitch? I was like, heck yeah. What have I got to lose? And we got to have a great time. And I peaked in viewers 
on my Twitch stream. We had like 1,600 people, my 1,700 people on Twitch just watching me play Nintendo Switch Sports for 45 minutes, you know? I could do what I want. I, I always did do what I want, but now I can do what I want. <laughs> I think it's better this way. And, re and retrospectively looking back, Golden made the right choice. I wish it was communicated with me better. I wish that situation was handled better. But they were right to drop me because I was not a good ambassador. I really wasn't. I, I Maybe at one point I was when my channel was smaller, but I grew too big. I, I, I flew too close to the sun. I got too many subscribers. I had too many people watching me to the point where I could review a game that Nintendo puts out. And if I had a bad review, it could have a negative input. It could have a negative implication on that game sales. You know, if I reviewed it well, it could have a very positive implication on those game on that game sales that's just the that's how it was and because i didn't shy away from those bad reviews i wasn't a good ambassador but i was a good youtuber i was good at being non-biased and that's what i've always been it's just non-bias so when i talk about nintendo it just comes from my heart and it frustrates me when people say that i'm just salty at nintendo and that's why i have that take and it's not why at all and i think it's it's a double standard to hold creators to this like pinnacle or this like pedestal of you want your creators right you what you watching this you want me to be honest right you want to know that i'm being honest all the time whether i'm being paid for something or not you want to know that i'm being honest fair and you want that from all your creators correct then you can't come after those creators when they're honest and when they have an opinion that differs from yours when it's just an opinion, I'm not talking about a bad take or they've said something stupid or out of pocket. You want me to get on board when you dislike something. You want me to share those opinions of, 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 oh, Nintendo, oh, it's a double standard. You know, you can hold me accountable for things if I misstep or have a bad take, but don't put it on this one thing that happened two years ago. I hope all of these ramblings made sense. And, uh, and I'm sure people that feel this way won't end up watching this video or will say what they want to say still. But at least I know I took the time to clarify it and to give some thoughts on the situation. I, um, I hope you guys understand too. And moving forward from here, I'm going to keep doing me. I'm going to be me. Honest. Unapologetic. If I love something, I love it. If I don't, I don't. And I hope you join me for the ride. And I hope you appreciate that. I hope that makes sense. You know. Because you know what I love even more than Nintendo? All of you. <laughs> Is that a nice sappy way to end the video? Alright.